Kung Hei Fa Choi and Happy Chinese New Year. I want to show you how I created this indoor hydroponics cart so I can uh, move it around and put in uh, plants and hydroponic systems to grow my lovely vegetables and fruits. To save money, I pick up some boards from the old furniture that people uh, just flung away on the street. Then cut them into the pieces that I need to create this cart. In screws, I put the boards together and stand up this growth cart. There's four wheels underneath so I can move it around and look at every part of the plants. My hydroponic system is passive. I put the nutrient tanks on the shelf at a higher level and then through gravitational force the nutrient will flow down to the rubber pipe and reaches the growth tank. The water level controllers that are designed will keep the water level at the maximum level and then when the plants drink through water and reaches down below the low level, the nutrient will be replenished again, so giving more space for the roots to exchange the gas. How it looks when I first set it up with the vegetables. You see that there are two nutrient tanks, the black ones, one on the left, one on the right. I find that it used too much space, so I try to save some space by consolidating these two tanks into one and still be able to divide that um, to have two types of nutrients one for vegetable and one for fruits in the same tank i drew two holes and put in two facets and now i'm testing whether it is tight enough and whether there's any leakage i divide the space into two halves using plastic board and hot glue gun. Then I run the rubber pipes, soft rubber pipes, uh, from the tank to the fruit tank in the bottom and also the vegetable growth baskets in front. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I created this fruit growth tank using 100mm times 100mm square plastic pipes. Those used for routing uh, electric cables. I grow tomatoes using this fruit growth tank. And at the bottom, you will see that I grow some watermelon. Those melons are good for fruits as well. You see they are flowering and very soon I expect to see the small tiny melons coming up. For the vegetable growth tank, uh, I run a smaller duct, duct from the rubber pipe to pull the nutrient to the water level controller. The smaller one here. You can see it will control the water level up to around 2 cm and the vegetable will be able to exchange gas using the space left. So that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click like, subscribe, and send to your friends to watch too. Happy New Year!